Kyle Henderson here at BamaInsider.com along with Tony Sakalas of BamaInsider.com reporting from Tuscaloosa, Alabama outside of Bryant Denny Stadium. Alabama holds scrimmage number two. Today, Nick Saban talked about the progression of the kicking game. Yeah, it's a, Alabama had a much better performance in the kicking game today. Uh, I, I know Andy Pavanasos was three for three. J.K. Scott, uh, Nick Saban said he made a 51-yard field goal. And then Bolivus, I think, was one of two, but he made a kick, I, I believe, in the rain. Uh, so all three of the kickers showed improvement, and that's just something that I think all Alabama fans were kind of losing some sleep over uh, worrying about. He also mentioned, this is Nick Saban, he also mentioned that both scars were out with an illness. Yeah, yeah, which is actually positive news because I think a lot of people were fearing that it might be an injury. Bo Scarborough is somebody that's missed the last two days in, in practice, uh, and nobody really knew what the reason was. Uh, it sounds like it might be, just from hearing it, it sounds like it might be the flu-like system. And don't, the, the sirens in the back aren't for Bo Scarborough. It's just, that's usually saving rolling out of the stadium. Right, right. There's nothing <laughs> to worry about in that department. But it sounds like Nick uh, said that uh, Bo might have a, just maybe, maybe like a flu-like system wanted him to rest. I don't even expect him to miss much time uh, due to it. Saban also mentioned that Josh Jacobs day-to-day with the pulled hamstring. Yeah, it's something that, you know, we've been monitoring. He missed all of this week. Wasn't even at practice the last few days, so uh, it still remains day-to-day with that. So there's really no no news on that. According to Saban, it sounded like Tua Tungo Bailoa had a productive day. Yeah, yeah. He's progressed well this, this offseason, and it's he's somebody that, you know, they're going to count on as well. He's somebody that uh, you know, if Jalen hurts us to go down, they need to have that option. So, uh, it, it, from an Alabama perspective, it's good to hear that he's progressing into his own and, and passing better. Saban and uh, Alabama continue to march towards the Florida State game. They continue to get locked and dialed in. What was Saban's comments about that? Yeah, so I think they're going to spend the next three days, I think he said, uh, evaluating this scrimmage, seeing where they're at. And if they feel pretty confident in, in where they're at, I think they're going to move. Uh, Saban said that they're going to move on to Florida State come Wednesday. So that's something interesting to watch. Uh, we're only two weeks away on the dot today from that opener. So uh, they might start moving into the game plan midway through next week. The biggest game in college football between Alabama and Florida State. You can catch all the coverage leading up to the game on BatmanInsider.com. Reporting from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, outside of Brian Denny Stadium, my name is Kyle Henderson. This is Tony Sakalis of BatmanInsider.com. Reporting from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, outside of Brian Denny Stadium, my name is Kyle Henderson. This is T- Tony Sakalis. The biggest game... Sorry. These are killing The biggest game in... is Kyle Henderson. This is Tony Sakalis. You had it there. You could have you done that. You could have you just slammed that one home. Alright, here we go.